Everyone left to save money. And we're here to help you play the best games at the lowest possible price. Hi, I'm Marky. And I'm Freddy. And with that being said, let's get started. The first game we have for this week is Halo 5 Guardians at Microsoft Store. The game is currently on sale for $7.99, dropping all the way from its regular price of $20. And of course, we got Halo on sale. What better way to start off an Xbox video? And I know that Halo 5 Guardians was a little bit, I guess, controversial. I know it had big changes like aiming down the sights, which I know a lot of people might not have liked. Some people did embrace. But honestly, it's neither here nor there. For me, Halo sells it on its story. And the multiplayer, of course, is fantastic. I've always enjoyed them all. And while I haven't messed too much around with Halo 5's multiplayer, I want to experience the story again, at least... This is a great way to do it with this sale, so that way you can get yourself ready for any news for Halo Infinite when it comes out, hopefully, this December. You get to explore two different characters, including a new Spartan to enjoy, and obviously there was a lot of uh, conflict between them and Master Chief, and it's worth exploring that way you can see any kind of twists and turns and maybe some differences as the world in, of Halo changes. And of course, you can't go wrong with a strong multiplayer, but of course, always a strong player base, always playing. And at 8 bucks, even more people are going to be playing it soon. And you can get jump in and maybe knock around some new people while you're at it and get yourself stronger in the process. And speaking of getting stronger, I've actually got Freddy over here with a few tips on helping you control your Spartan a lot better. So Freddy, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Mark. I'm ready. Uh, try boost sliding. When you sprint, you can give yourself an additional boost, but immediately after, press the crouch button so you can slide across the floor and get the leg up on your opponents. Also, remember, if you want to stay hidden from your enemy radar, crouch. You'll move slowly, but you won't show up on their sensors, allowing you to get the jump on them. As Marky said, this is a great game, especially that we have a new Halo coming in in December, so at this price, I would definitely grab it if you haven't played this game before. Two more budget tips for you. First, if you own Game Pass, then you don't need to buy this game because it's included for free. The other tip I have for you is that Cash App, my favorite uh, coupon, is still there. 15% discount on any purchase made on Microsoft Store. And on top of that, you can use Top Cashback website to get 10% and you can combine both, as you can see in this diagram, to get a hold of 25% discount on top of that. Now, if it's just $7, $8, it not, it's not gonna make a big difference, but if you're buying other games, it, it will definitely add up. The next game we have is a physical game, and this time it's a Gamefly. Yes, Gamefly not only rent games, but also sell them. And currently we have a great sale on Gamefly. The first game we chose is Resident Evil Village, an all-time low at price of $27 and it's dropping all the way from its regular price of $60. That's right, it's a Halloween time and what better way to usher in the fall season than with a few horror games, specifically the most recent in the Resident Evil series. I know this one got a lot of fan appreciation for Lady Dimitrescu and I'm sure in the trailer I'm putting up you will definitely see her and you will notice her. but. It is a fantastic and very visceral horror game, one that I've yet to play. Around Halloween time, I like to throw a few spooky games up and enjoy them that way, so I can't wait to see it. And at an all-new low price, too, on Gamefly, I'm more than happy to take part. And while there's some campiness, Resident Evil is always known for being not too serious, but has enough scares, and apparently from what I'm hearing, if anybody in the comments, keep it spoiler-free, of course, one particularly uh, I guess spooky and gut-wrenching scene, but I can't wait to experience it and I'd encourage everybody to experience it Yeah, you, you heard me right. I want everyone to see it <laughs> And at a low price, it's fantastic more than ever and it encourages a lot of replay value, too I want to say that because the game can sometimes appear short But it unlocks a lot more things that you can do for repeat playthroughs that allow you to explore more things It's a great horror game and one perfectly fit for this modern generation now I'm going to have Freddy throw some tips for you, and let's see if you can make it. You need to turn all your lights off, uh, put in a set of headphones. Hopefully these tips don't spook you enough so that you can uh, enjoy the game to its fullest. So Freddy, please be careful. <laughs> well, on the map, if a room area is red, that means there is still something to be found in that room. 
Once it turns blue, however, it means that there is nothing else to find, making your journey to solve a puzzle a lot easier. Another tip for you is you should know if you played any Resident Evil game before, especially the remastered one. Uh, you will know that ammo is scarce, so if there are some low level enemies, you won't need to waste any bullets on them. Instead, use your knife. That way you can clear the area while keeping some ammo for the tough enemies. The other option is of course to run away, which is my favorite option. I did that all the time, and that one kept me on top of my toes, but it's a wonderful game and I can't wait um, until Marky try it himself. We've reached that point in the video where, of course, we'd love to ask you if you've been enjoying the video, please click the like button if you haven't. Also, the subscribe button and maybe the bell icon for notifications too. So that way all of our subscribers can keep up to date with not only our weekly uploads, but any quick flash and sales that we post on our YouTube stories, as well as our gaming input Twitter. That's right, subscribing will help you get the deals before they expire. Also would help our channel grow. Our goal is to build a community of gamers who are like us, have passion for games but don't want to break the bank playing them. Alright, enough talking and let's get back to the deals. Gamefly continues with the great deals this week and the next game we have is Yakuza Like a Dragon for $17.99 dropping all the way from its regular price of $60. Yes, Yakuza Like a Dragon, a game that I think a lot of people were sort of expecting to be a success, but wound up becoming a great success. It's continuing the Yakuza series, but it does something a little bit different, whereas the previous Yakuza games were a more street brawler with some wacky side games, this one's a turn-based RPG with wacky side games. You're starting a new main character and his friends as they are exploring a silly contrast of dark main story stuff involving the Yakuza of course and then wacky mini games and side games that go all over the place enjoying what all of what Japan has to offer and once you start playing those games you're gonna say turn-based combat and you're gonna think oh you know slight attacks silly animations you know the usual kind of thing it's actually way more over the top and way crazier see the main character in his head believes that in his life it's all a big video game and that's translated into the actual gameplay itself over-the-top visual effects, and really crazy special moves that are worth exploring, in addition to some really great characters, which is where Yakuza always shines. And I'd recommend the game at 60 bucks, and it's all the way down to just under 20. So yes, I would definitely recommend this game, and I can't recommend it highly enough at this price, especially for any Xbox gamers who are looking to get a little bit more Japanese Yakuza culture in their life. And with that, I'm going to throw my tips over to Freddy and get some help here. How do I survive the mean streets of Japan, Freddy? While most of the skills you unlock are for combat, there are some that can be used outside of battle to make things easier. One skill is called Namba's Healing Powder, which can heal your team outside of battle, saving you from using your healing items. In the past, I played many of the Yakuza, and I find myself going to the supermarket and purchasing a lot of the money that I collect on items that will heal me because you'll use them a lot. So I found this skill is definitely useful to use early on. Also, be sure to chat with your party members whenever you can. You will need to talk to them to raise your bond with them, allowing them to provide additional benefits throughout the game. I know we mentioned these games a lot, but it's a great one and this is an all-time low again gamefly is killing the deals then the game we're talking about this time is immortal phoenix rising for 59.99 dropping all the way from its regular price of around 40 to 50 dollars do you like assassin's creed gameplay or do you like the gameplay of legend of zelda breath of the wild what if i put them together and sprinkled in a little bit of greek mythology well then you've got immortals phoenix rising as it states, you get to explore a wide pantheon. Uh, it's also told from the perspective of Zeus and Prometheus. They'll be chatting with each other as you play the game, and they do provide some very silly moments and levity, so that while you're exploring the big world, there's something to listen to in addition to the fantastic music. And the combat is definitely a lot more involved than something like Breath of the Wild. That's why I would equate it more to Assassin's Creed. You get to pull off crazy moves, you have multiple weapons, and you get different effects from different gods as you play the game. And of course, like Breath of the Wild, you get to explore a lot of different puzzles and using different abilities to solve said puzzles. And the great thing about it is that it's very open-ended, you're free to tackle them however you wish. And of course you have a fantastic open world in a beautiful cartoony art style as well. So that way you kind of get a little bit of levity. I know 
a lot of the Greek mythology stuff and can sometimes take itself overly serious. This one does things fantastic and has enough tongue-in-cheek humor to keep you entertained throughout the entire adventure. And it's a game that while we see discounted a lot, like Freddy said, it's at its lowest price so far. But if you want to get the most out of it, I gotta throw you over to Freddy here because he's got a few more tips that can help you enjoy this game to its absolute fullest. Thank you, Marky. You can't have a Ubisoft game without a lot of climbing, so make sure you climb all four statues in this game. And the reason I'm saying this is because each one of them will clear a section of the map, and this will be a good time to use Hyperopium, or the scanning ability, because they are, the statues are high, and you're a good spot to explore everything in this map for that particular section uh, that the statue cover. And that will save you a lot of scanning uh, time, and that will make, will make you like going directly to the target uh, where your point of interest. The other big advice um, for you is that you need to collect everything on your way because everything will become useful for upgrades. And also my last important tips is to use the glide boost as soon as possible because the game is very big and using the glide boost will allow you to climb mountains with using less stamina and will allow you to go across the map uh, without having to worry about that. So use the glide boost as soon as possible and your life will be much better. We don't have an honorable mention for you, but we have another great game on sale this time to cover. The game is again at Gamefly, and the game we are talking about this time is It Takes Two for $20, which we also believe this is an all-time low. Marky, you can go ahead and tell us more about this game. I'm on it, Freddy. And actually, this is a game that's meant to be played with another person. Uh, the mind of Joseph Ferris from other games like A Way Out has brought a new title. This is about two characters who are trying to fix their relationship, but of course any two players can play, and it's all built around working together to accomplish tasks, puzzles, and survive outright. The game of course has a very silly style, it's got a, a lot of humor that's worth exploring, jokes, this or that, and it's obviously nothing really too crazy, but it does cover a few small things when it comes to relationships, and it can throw a tip or two out there that are actually pretty profound. But of course, a lot of the gameplay is where it shines. They're very clever with the puzzle uses that you are, like using honey and sap to attract ants to get it away from other enemies. Oh, by the way, you're completely shrunk down in this, so you get to explore that too. Um, there's a lot of different uh, challenges to explore, and you get to work with your partner, and it involves a lot of communication in order to tackle them. But that's essentially the whole point of this game. And you can get somebody who's maybe not too game savvy to kind of learn the controls pretty quick. And it's nice and accessible so that you two can have a great time. In as well as occasionally frustrating each other with communication. But that's the whole point. And it's a great way to do it too because it's at such a low price which means it's a very low investment for you to enjoy something and maybe grow a little closer to whoever you're playing the game with. And speaking of communicating with your partner, Freddy, do you have any tips on surviving It Takes Two? You got it, Marky. I'm on it, Marky. While there is a lot for you and your partner to keep track of, be sure to listen while you play. If you hear tambourine sounds playing, it means one of the 25 available minigames is nearby, so be sure to check it out, play it, and enjoy it. Also, if you ever feel like you're losing track of where your partner is, Always remember to click on the right stick and you'll be able to locate the other player immediately so you can properly tackle a puzzle together. You heard that, Marky? I heard it. I'll, I'll keep those in mind. One of my favorite hobby is to make the great deals even better. And one way I would do this is to buy the game and trade it at a good price. And we have a great example of that this time with Gamefly and GameStop. One way I would do it is if you buy Resident Evil Village from Gamefly for $27. You play the game, the game is short, it's not gonna take you too long to beat it. And when you finish it, go ahead and trade it to GameStop. GameStop offers a store credit of around $22 back or $20 cash. Now, if you want to get any of the newly released game like Far Cry 6, here where it gets very interesting. You will get 20% bonus on top of this $22 if you are a pro member. And this will boost up the price for around $27 or $28. Sometimes this boost can be increased to 30%. Um, so that's even better. In this case, not only you will play the game for $27, but you trade it in for more than what you bought it for. And on top of that, if you're interested in a game like Far Cry 6, 
Game GameStop offers ten dollar in coupon back after you buy it. So this will basically almost cover half the price of Far Cry 6 and on top of that you get $10 coupon and on top of that don't forget to use the $5 monthly coupon you can use it to with that pre-order or any other game you need so that's why we always encourage getting the pro membership at GameStop we're not affiliated with them but we highly recommend it just $15 but you get five monthly coupon every month and that will pay itself and even more we hope you enjoyed the video for this week that's right and of course, our question we like to pose to you, we covered a lot of games here, but we were curious about our format. Have we been making changes, of course? We're covering a couple games, but we're going into a lot of detail on them. Do you prefer we maybe cover a lot of games, go into less details, so that way you get info on more sales? It's always good. Any opinions and all, feel free to shout them out in those comments below. Also remember that many of the deals that we mentioned last week might still be applicable, so make sure you check the playlist. Also, if you own other consoles like PlayStation or Nintendo Switch, we also got you covered. We have separate video for those, so make sure you check them before the deals expire. See you soon! Thank you for watching!